In this video, we are going to introduce ourselves to the rectangle. But first, let's just take a look at the shape that we've been looking at in the last couple of videos, the parallelogram. Now we're going to do a little experiment. So let's quickly give these some letters. And what we're going to do is the following. Imagine you could take this part over here at B, and you could pick that up, or you could somehow drag it across to the left until it was exactly above A. What kind of shape would you form? Well, there it is. That's the kind of shape that would be formed. And if you had to go and measure this accurately, you would find that the angle you have just created here is 90 degrees. Okay, so now we have a 90 degree angle over there. So now what we need to quickly investigate is we need to look at the properties of a parallelogram, which were the following. And so let's have a look. Well, the opposite sides, well, they they still parallel. I mean, we can see that they're still parallel over there. These sides over here are still going to be parallel, so that's good. The opposite sides, yes, they are still equal. So this side is equal to that side, and that side over there is equal to that side. So we've got that sorted. Now, because these sides are parallel, what do we know about this angle and this angle over here? Well, remember, when you think of parallel lines, you should think of fun. And if you look at the U, we said that the U always adds up to 180. So if B is already 90, then that means that C has to be 90 as well, not because they have to be equal, but because they have to add up to 180. And so that's going to be 90 degrees. Now, if we had to look at the U over here, then we could say that D has to be 90 as well. And then if we had to look at this U over here, then of course, this would have to be 90 as well. And so the reason we've just done that is to show that the opposite angles, they still equal to each other. So those two are equal and these two are equal. And so we can tick that off over there. Let's take a look at the diagonals. Well, if you had to go and do a whole lot of congruency, you would realize that with those two triangles over there, or if you'd like, you could choose these two triangles. And what you would find is that you would be able to prove that the diagonals do bisect. And so we would have the following. This side would be equal to this side, and this side over here would be exactly equal to that side. And so there we have it. This shape can still be called a parallelogram. So it's definitely a parallelogram. However, it comes with a few bonus features. And those bonus features are the following. Bonus feature number one is that all angles are 90 degrees. So we can see that, right? This angle, this angle, and this angle, and this angle are 90 degrees. The second bonus feature is the following. The diagonal lines are actually going to be equal in length. How could we know that for sure? Well, you could use congruency with these two triangles. So can you see the two triangles? It's the green one going to B, C, D, and the turquoise one, which is A, B, C. If you had to prove those as congruent, which would be very easy to do, what you would be, well, you would be able to see that they are congruent, which means that B, D, which is from here to here, would then be the same as A, C, which is from here to here. Now let's look at it and try to understand it from a more everyday kind of perspective. So here we have two shapes. The first one on the left is a rectangle, and the one on the right is a parallelogram. Now let's put two diagonals down in each diagram, and let's analyze this, these diagonals. So have a look at this diagonal over here. So that goes from this corner to this corner. And then this diagonal over here, well, that one goes from this corner to this corner. Now, you can clearly see that those distances are going to be the same because these distances, or these two black dots, they are the same, they're on the same vertical line, okay? But now if we had to go over to the parallelogram, where we could look at this one over here, which goes from this corner all the way to this corner, whereas if we look at this diagonal, you can see it's a lot shorter because it only has to go from this corner to this corner. So can you see that they're not on the same vertical line now? This black dot over here is more to the left than this one over here. And then this dot over here is more to the right than this one over here. So it's clear to see that the green one is going to travel further. And so in a parallelogram, the diagonals, they do bisect each other. So that's equal. 
and that's equal. However, the diagonal lengths are not the same as each other. In a rectangle, however, because we know that the diagonals bisect, we can actually just do this over here, because all of those little parts are the same as each other. And so we can actually modify our little shape up here by removing some lines. So notice what I've done, I've made sure that all four of these have three lines to show that they are exactly the same. And so, in summary, a rectangle is a parallelogram, always remember that, it is a parallelogram, because it has these four properties over here, but it has a few bonus features. All the angles are right angles, and the diagonals are equal to each other.